And not everybody might know, Barry came here in 1990, right Barry? 1990. And in uh, 2001, Barry won the Nobel Prize for asymmetric catalysis for the Sharpless epoxidation reaction. When Barry starts to talk, by now we should know to listen because um, he has ideas and typically what you find, he's two or three steps ahead of everybody else. I think that Barry is kind of like our Bob Dylan because, you know, Bob Dylan was always ahead, but Bob Dylan only has one Nobel Prize. I just wanted to say thanks to everybody, uh, Scripps very much first because Scripps has been a heaven for me. Uh, I can't not do chemistry so I'm sort of compulsive that way but I got to do it with a lot of wonderful people and I got support and it's great to win prizes but remember the main thing is that you've got to love what you're doing and if you do, you'll You'll win prizes too, but you, you don't want to worry about the prizes, that's a guy. So, good luck to you all. Recruiting someone here to get the Nobel Prize, and, you know, it takes resources and foresight. Uh, there's royalty money coming in, but the one thing that you can't place a value on is having somebody like Barry Sharpless as your colleague. That's priceless. So, so Barry, I know you've got a big trip coming up, uh, in, but we wanted to preempt that and, and give you a little memento. Um, uh, now, but I do have some bad news. You don't get a second parking spot, okay? <laughs> uh, so, but, but we have a, a, a little, uh, uh, memento for you in, on the occasion of your second Nobel Prize. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs>